This series of videos is about quick fixes for common issues. And this is the first video in the series, and it's a quick tip to fix the most common of issues, and that's the dreaded overexposed clips that clients send you. Or more likely, you'll have accidentally filmed yourselves. My name's Bruce, and I've been teaching Final Cut Pro since version 1 was released, and that's 20 years ago. And if we've met before, welcome back. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and press the bell to be notified about more videos about Final Cut Pro. And also consider joining the Members Only section, where you can have your questions about Final Cut Pro given priority and answered by an industry professional from $1.49 per month. You can cancel at any time. Just press the Join button below. Overexposed footage is easily fixed unless it's severely affected. And heavy overexposure has very few solutions. However, you'll be surprised how much you can improve with color grading. And here are two examples of overexposed footage that's been corrected. I'll hide the top clip, which is the original footage, to expose the corrected clips below. However, footage is more likely to be overexposed when a camera is on auto exposure and it moves from a dark scene to a brighter scene. And it's obvious that there's going to be a mix of dark and light in the scene, and some parts of the video will show better in the bright, and others will show better when the exposure is darkened. So it's a compromise, and you need to decide which parts are important to the story, as you can't have both without some serious masking, and that's not part of this video. Let's have a look at a clip that's overexposed when a camera on auto exposure moves from a dark scene into the brightness. I'll show you the difference between the original clip and the adjusted footage. And what you're seeing in the timeline at the moment is the original untouched clip on top of the adjusted clip below. And when I play the timeline, that top clip completely hides the adjusted clip below. The scene moves from inside the car to the bright sunlight. And my reason for using this clip is that you'll be able to see when the overexposure is too great that there's nothing you can fix it with. And because everything's burnt out. But when there's something to be recovered, you can make a real difference. The most overexposed part, that's fully burnt out, is at 16 frames, where just about all the pixels are solid white. But at 23 frames, there's material that can be recovered. Now I'll show you these same positions with the correction made. And then I'll show you how to achieve the fix. So back at 23 frames, I'll hide the top original clip so you can see the difference. Now at 16, with the top clip hidden, you'll see that this highly exposed section doesn't get any improvement. And for the exercise, I'll play the repaired clip right through. Then I'll show you how I did it. This is the process. What you're looking at now is the original clip with no corrections. Select the color correction tab in the inspector. I'll use the color wheels, but equally the color board if that's what you prefer. The first thing to do when fixing exposure, that's either over or under exposure, is to show the Luma waveform video scopes. And these are called up from the view menu above the viewer. Select the single view above scopes and press the little graph icon to select Luma Waveform. The scope shows 100 at the top and 0 at the bottom. The white should be at 100, but not over, and the black should be at 0, but not normally below. The midtones are adjusted to suit the image. As I said before, it's a compromise. Sometimes there's a real benefit in crushing the blacks by going below zero. The darker the blacks, the more contrast in the image. But don't overdo the blacks. Use the right-hand side of the wheels to take the highlights up to 100 and the shadows down to zero. But in this case, I'll go a little bit below to crush those blacks. Highlights affects the white, shadows affects the blacks. Now move the right slider in the mid-tone to suit. Overexposure you'll be moving it down. 
Switching from the correction to just the original, now you'll see some small improvement. But the secret to correcting serious overexposure is to do some colour grading. And you'll be saying to yourself, I'm no expert at colour grading. But let's face it, if you were, you most likely wouldn't be watching this video. So for the quick fix, my tip is to use the teal orange colour grading effect. And you'll find one in the looks category in the effects browser. Drag that inside the clip in the timeline. The default settings are too strong, so set it to about 30, but your decision, looking by eye, you'll notice that the highlights have dropped from the 100 mark in the scopes. Now comparing the original and the correction so far, you'll see quite some difference. What you see now is the original clip in the viewer. If I hide that clip by pressing the V key, that exposes the clip below, and you can see the difference with the corrected clip playing now that the top one's hidden. The difference can be subtle when the video moves from dark to bright, but footage that's permanently overexposed will give a better result. As in these following examples, I'll hide the top clip, which is original footage, to expose the clips below. This video is concentrated on the overexposure, but for underexposure, the steps are much the same, except you'll generally find that when you lighten the image, there'll be grain or noise in the image, and to remove that noise, it's a completely different exercise. See my next video for tips on underexposure correction. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell.